Can you do pretentious s'mores? That's only like three ingredients. How am I gonna possibly? So my fiance and I were glamping this past weekend in Vermont and we began discussing s'mores and how we would like to have them, but not the juvenile kind that most people have covered in dirt. What we wanted was actually an elevated s'more, something that stood beyond the competition, something that took this easy juvenile dessert and brought it into the 21st century. Today I'm going to be showing you our 20th course on our tasting menu. It is called S'more Than What You're Used To, and it is our take on the simple s'more. Let's get started. Most people would just use store-bought marshmallows. We are kind of beyond that, so what we're gonna do here is drop method our egg, and then we're gonna start making our own marshmallow fluff. These eggs, as usual, are from the Syrup Chicken Co., so they have that natural sweet. Lacto-fermented cream of tartar made in-house. Stand mixer if you like, but we think manual is a much better option. Soft peaks, not stiff peaks. This is not a meringue. Add our not so simple syrup. It is a combination of dried honeycomb, right next to the queen bee sleeping spot, of course, garden grown agave juiced in half, and triple distilled twice britted water. This is very easy to balance. Jar stuff is swill in comparison. Most people would tell you to just double boil. We actually want to take you from the 85th percentile and bring you up to the 99th percentile by trick triple boiling, 120% cacao bar. We actually use a cacao distillate that is made in-house to up our percentages. One shot of espresso, you should visit Italy. Time for our graham cracker component. We actually know Graham personally, the inventor of the graham cracker, and so we sourced his specially grown graham flour. A lot of these go to waste every year, and that is why we've partnered with Cracker Crumbs for Cracker Bums in in order to take these beautiful graham cracker crumbs and give them to white males in homeless encampments where they can make their own versions of our s'mores. House churned sheep goat butter. There's only so much we can do with our cedar stir stick. Now we are going to start assembling our s'mores. We actually 3D printed these in house from recycled pea shoots. Some of our beautiful graham cracker mixture. Our cacao component, our house-made fluff. We are going to level this off with a pastry knife. We are going to put them in the freezer for a few hours to firm up before we finalize our plating. Nice dollop of our beautiful espresso chocolate. Brush across the plate. Graham cracker crumb. Our s'more. We start by toasting our marshmallow. Touch of our graham cracker crumb. House-grown pecan wood. That camp fire smoke. And there you have it, our take on s'mores, s'more than what you're used to. That will be $42.69 and an 80% gratuity will be added with your bill.